What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Life at the Hammocks. It is such a beautiful day today. This is what summer is about. And let's hope long may it last. Um, it's been about four or five days since I came here. I came here day of the barbecue. So um, since then, I've just been basically doing other things. I've just had a look at the allotment. I'm not going to give you a tour today because there's too much to do and I want to get it done. So in this video, I'm going to be basically tidying up all of the overgrowth of the grass, etc. It's gone a bit too far and I don't want any weed seeds basically establishing, etc, etc. On top of that, the tomatoes, the bush tomatoes have overgrown and they're getting wild. So I want to create some sort of support for that. And a few other things. I can't remember exactly. Oh, the beans. So the beans are kind of winding through the net. So I'm going to take the net off today and just hope for the best. Um, if it gets dug up, it gets dug up. But the point is, it's not wrapping around the poles anymore. So I'm going to have to deal with that today and then hope for the best. Uh, what else am I doing today? I'm going to, hopefully, if I've got enough time, uh, clean up the fig tree. But let's see how much I can get done. We'll do what we can. Oh, I'll harvest as well, wherever I've got. I know I need to harvest some peas. There's one or two tomatoes, that um, cherry tomatoes that I've got, right? I've eaten two already. <laughs> but um, there's some there. I've got um, a courgette that I need to collect. But basically, I'll show you all of that at the end. For now, let's get on with it. There's a lot to do, and I'll put on the time that's for you. All right, see you in a second.
all right everybody so there you have it for today um i actually thought i had more of these um but the rest of them are at home now i need the ones at home so what i'm probably going to do is i'm just going to string these up i'm not going to order them right now the bush ones just need a couple of strings holding them up to the trellis that i've made um other than that it's not too bad i've just continued tidying up um and i'm gonna leave it here i've got the weekend i'm free now so i'm gonna come and do a little bit every day and basically get on with it but i managed to harvest some sugar snaps uh, a few tomatoes i ate half of the ones that i was going to eat um take home because they were really nice fresh uh, but i got two there my neighbor gave me some plums in exchange for some figs and the courgette now the courgette went a bit big but i'm sure it'll still be fine uh what else did i harvest that's oh and some rhubarb so that's the last piece of rhubarb for this year and then I'm going to let them, I should have really stopped on the last one, but I couldn't help myself. So I took one more pick in and I'm going to let it now just develop strength and uh, for next year. Um, but yeah, so the beans, what happened with them is uh, they got tangled up. So I untangled them. They weren't too bad and I've left them there now. Now <laughs> we'll have to see what happens tomorrow because overnight usually something pulls them out. I'm hoping that they've rooted enough for me not to worry about it. If they have, then perfect. And something won't pull them out because the two that it left alone grew fine out of all of them. And maybe it was that they uh, rooted or I don't know. I don't know, we'll find out. But it's looking good. I, I would love to give you a tour, but time is of the essence. I have to also go. But there's so many tomatoes growing here behind me. I've just tidied it up. Um, I didn't do it in the recording. I, I tidied it up and just got it done because I had to make a call and I used my phone to record. But what you got to see with me tidy that up, the, um, the other bush tomatoes. Tomorrow, I'm gonna come and tidy these bush tomatoes and then I'm gonna tie them both up onto the bamboo uh, trellis. And then we'll decide what else to do. I'm also going to probably harvest my potatoes and see how many potatoes I've got from the second earlies. And then after that, I still need to tidy up the fig tree. I'm not seeing the figs when they're getting ripe. So I'm just going to take off a few leaves. Anyone who knows about pruning fig trees, please leave a comment. Let me know um, if you have any advice or tips, because I'm just literally going to prune off most of the leaves, leave a few so I don't kill the plant off, the, the tree off. But if you have any ideas, I'm going to go also research tonight. And that's it. But other than that, please, please let me know how your garden is going, how your allotment is going, or your growing um, of vegetables and fruits, etc., etc., in the comment section below. And as always, please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next one.